So I have acquired a Sith Holocron and the first thing I want to do is to see if uh, it suffers from the same bug as the Jedi Holocron in that I can get it to boot up in the opposite mode. So in this case getting it to boot up as a Jedi Holocron. So the trick was put the little battery disconnect tab thing in here, right? We can confirm that it's in there by turning it on and no noise. Battery is disconnected. The next step is to plug it in to a USB power supply the correct way. And red lights come on. So immediately uh, with the Jedi Holocron when I do this, I get red lights as well. And it would be just a matter of pulling the... Uh, the tab out, disconnecting it, and now it's a Sith Holocron. Not so here. It stays. Well, it does something completely different. So at least it's not broken, but yeah, so something weird could, and very unintended is happening there at the start of the way I'm, I'm setting, I'm powering it up. So just to recap, here's right the Jedi Holocron, which starts up in Jedi mode at blue, makes the Jedi Holocron noises. This is Master Obi Wan, etc. Pop your little battery disconnect tab in there. Confirm it won't start up. Yep. Plug it in to just USB power. It's red. And now, if I turn it on. It's in Sith mode. We are Sith Sith. Turn it off. We want to disconnect power first. And then reconnect the battery. And it'll start back up as a Jedi. So that sort of proves the point that uh, what I thought, which is that you're only going to get that ability to boot both up, uh, both modes up in the Jedi Holocron, not the Sith one. Now you could probably get the trick the Sith into booting up into Jedi, but you'd have to open this thing up and probably make a change to the the uh, circuit board inside. Anyways, one other thing I want to show you that is the same on both, and it's kind of interesting, and I think I know what's going on. Um, oh, stay off going to disconnect the battery by putting that back in and before I power it up I'm gonna hit the switch on here so it's it's immediately going to turn on and it's blue now and I don't know if you can hear that but it is outputting a, a low a high pitch but low volume noise there and then if I touch the uh, both of these buttons. No, nope, nothing. Oh, I have to turn it off. Watch what happens when I turn it off. I'm gonna. There you go. You see it flashes through a sequence of lights, and now it's it's off. But if I push the two buttons again, it flashes a different cyan color, and then it turns off, and it effectively. Uh, makes this thing unusable until you disconnect the battery again because I think what's happening is there's a processor or a microcontroller in here that's just for the buttons and the LEDs and that's what's probably being activated there um, probably without any direction from the main microcontroller and the same thing happens on this one again disconnect the battery switch everything on Power it up. Again, blue light. Again, making the same noise. 
Again, you turn it off. It's going to go through uh, some colors. And then if you touch one of the buttons, it's green. Oh, this is cool. See, I've been pressing both buttons at the same time. Oh, that's cool. Maybe this is some kind of diagnostic mode. Green, green, green. Green, green, green. Blue, blue, blue. And if I reconnect the battery, it's still in that mode. Disconnect power. Still in that weird diagnostic mode, or whatever is going on here. It's probably not intentional. Turn everything on again. No, because... Again, the system is kind of crashed right now. Now, if I hit both of these at the same time, I believe you get cyan, a combination of the two colors. And that crashes out the controller. And it is very much no longer functional. And you need a hard reset, which is disconnect the battery, reconnect the battery, and it's in a happy state again. So... I think the holocrons are pretty cool, but maybe their QA department wasn't as good as it could have been. Uh, oh, one last thing. Um, the Jedi and uh, Sith holocrons can communicate over infrared to each other. I'm going to show you how to align it so the infrared connection is at its best. On the Jedi holocron, look at where your holocron drawer is. The side that the kyber crystal goes into that's the side that the infrared is, is uh, transmitter and receiver are on the Jedi holocron. So positioned like that, it's going this way. On the Sith holocron, you see you have the one red triangle and the others are gold. The side opposite the red triangle, that is where the, the, the Sith holocron's uh, IR transmitter and receiver are. So we can put these to the test. I'm going to turn the lights off for this. Notice they're staying in their respective Jedi and Sith modes. As soon as I tip this over to face it this direction, they'll turn purple. And you can press the buttons on either one. Jedi and Sith wield the Ashlar and Bogan, the light and the dark. I'm the one in the middle, the Bendu. I've seen an odd thing where if this shuts down in that purple mode, it'll start back up. I've only got it to happen a couple of times, and it switches itself out uh, on its own into regular Jedi mode. Uh, what else? I was holding the corners of this uh, because if you have the, the switch turned on, so the, this whole thing is resting on just the points of these three triangles, and it takes very little pressure. I'll find make a liar out of me. It, I find it very easily switches out of, or it turns itself off. So you got to hold the corners just to make sure everything is gonna work and stay on all right so there you go jedi and sith holocrons